The Mickey Mouse horror movie, that's a great thing. Did you know there's another Mickey Mouse horror movie and no one even told me about it? Look, uh, The Return of Steamboat Willie, I think is what it's called. Okay, The Return. Let me get this set up. Of Steamboat Willie. Oh my goodness, guys. I I can't believe we have another one. So, so many videos already. Return of Steamboat Willie trailer. This literally just popped up the other day. Oh, let me switch to my freaking uh, clips account. That way. There we go. Okay. This this was just posted seven days ago. And I honestly thought this was the trailer to an already announced Mickey Mouse horror movie. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. A Mickey Mouse horror movie. Images. So this one. I thought it was this one. Because I was like, I know there's two so far. There's one about a slasher Mickey Mouse where it's just a guy in a mask. Looks like it was made on $50. <laughs> that. And then there's this one where it's going to be live action from the people who made the Grinch horror movie, the mean one. And I'm like, this one's more accurate. He's on actually on a boat. It's Steamboat Willie. This is just concept art, whatever. So I thought this trailer was for that movie on the boat. This is a third one. This is a third Mickey Mouse horror movie we're getting. Let me play you this little trailer real quick. Watch it together. This nonsense. Okay. This is the interesting part about this movie. I'm going to talk through most of it because, like, this two-minute trailer reveals almost nothing. The interesting part about this movie is that it's animated. Or, you know, animated quotation marks. The movie is being made using Unreal Engine 5. For those of you who don't know, Unreal Engine 5 is it too loud. For those of you who don't know, Unreal Engine 5, oh Jesus, full screen it, my bad. Oh jeez, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Unreal Engine 5 is usually used to make video games. That's like what like GTA or you've seen those edits before. Now they're using them to freaking make movies. So this whole movie is technically animated, like a 3D animated movie, but it's going to look like a dang video game the entire time. And so here, it looks like it's going to have some black and white sequences. I did like that they got to use the music. This is going to be so annoying. I'm talking through the whole thing, but I'm telling you, it's just like when you see the payoff of this trailer, you're like, what? All, all those two minutes for that? I'll shut up now. I'll shut up now. <laughs> Okay, so we're seeing that that steamboat. Very creepy. <laughs> Not surprised. Unreal is used mostly for any medias. Yeah. So here we see some disturbances. Oh, gee. come on, IGN, pulling out the cards already. <laughs> That's how you know this trailer waited till the last minute to show you something. And then here we go. All that for this. <laughs> that was it. That was your freaking trailer. Now, okay. I'll be honest with you guys. Oh, Jesus. I, uh, I actually love, out of the three of them, this is probably the one I'm most excited for. Because this actually has real potential to be something. Because my biggest complaint with these movies... Let me see if I... Okay, let me see if I could go freaking motion by motion. Um... My biggest complaint is they all just feel so cheap. They all just feel like, ugh. Like, uh, they feel like they were made on freaking $5. And here we go. We're going to have Mickey Mouse pop up any second. And that's what's, like, the annoying part, right? It's like, I can make this with my friends in our backyard if we wanted to. Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it's going to look like a video game, probably from, like, 2011. But at least they'll be able to do stuff. So that's Mickey Mouse right there. <laughs> Full grown man. They they could have, you know, shortened him down, done a little Chucky thing where he's like two feet tall. That would have been fun. But it's like a full full grown guy. <laughs> and that's it right there. So let me see if I can read some more of these details. An upcoming new film being created in Unreal Engine by Futon Studios. So like are there more Unreal Engine videos? Let me see here. Unreal Engine 5. I don't know. I see them all the time, like on TikTok. Where, like, look at that. See, they, they use it to create so much stuff, like Epic Games and all this. I remember I, I had a sponsorship for this uh, Matrix one. 
this Matrix one, I had a sponsorship deal a long time ago, but I didn't look too much into it. And it's like, could you would you watch a whole movie like this? This might be the future, because look, so it's gonna look basically something like this, depending how much uh money and time they throw into it. But I'm like, that's for a low budget horror movie. That's uh that's not bad. You could do a lot with this. I don't know how difficult it is to make an Unreal Engine movie. If it's anything like using Blender, I'm sure it's a little difficult. But the this Mickey Mouse horror movie isn't the only one. Uh just today, uh it got announced that a studio is gonna be doing the same thing. Let's see, Unreal Engine. Or is it it's called like Rogue something, Rogue Soldier. Yep, right here. Rogue Trooper, my bad. Duncan Jones, new Rogue Trooper movie will use Unreal Engine 5. So, like, we're getting a movie about this video game, or this comic, I should say, called Rogue Trooper, and the entire movie is going to be made using uh, Unreal Engine 5. And they have real actors uh, attached to it. I think Haley Atwell is one of them. Here they are. Here the Haley Atwell is going to be in the movie. So, like, the way it works is... It's like a video game, you know, like in the video game suits where, uh, let's see here, video game or like the Avatar movies where you're just like in a room with the ping pong ball suits like this. So you film the actors like this and then it just, it's transferred over onto Unreal Engine. So I guess there's not that much animating going on. I'm not the smartest guy. Mocap. Yeah, exactly. Like mocap. But so there's. The people who are making this freaking Mickey Mouse movie, they're doing it the most advanced way and they're probably making more for their buck with it. Because, I mean, yeah, I'd rather watch a movie that looks like this semi-high quality than what's that freaking Mickey Mouse movie look like? Oh, because come on, you, you look at the trailer for this one and you're like, oh, Mickey's mouse trap. my bad. I muted it, so I don't talk over it. But, like, look at it. Come on, let's... As someone literally pulled out an iPhone out of Dave and Buster's and said, "All right, guys, uh, act cool, act like teenagers." It's a, uh, it's not gonna be as good. <laughs> it's gonna be like for a dumb fun time, but Unreal Engine. I just couldn't believe there was another one. That's three now, and in total, four horror Mickey Mouse projects. Because you also got to think about the the video game that they're coming out with. That which that actually looks fun too. The Infestation. 88 or whatever where you play as like a crew trying to disinfect this place with rats and gigantic mutated mickey mouse is there bro they they saw mickey mouse was available and they just said we'll take it we'll do the job let that mouse come and get us oh boy so that's what's going on in the mickey mouse horror world